Hi guys and welcome to my video. In this video I want to talk about what snapping is. So what is snapping? Well when we're here in the model tab there's this section called snap to grid and some people might wonder well what does that mean? Uh, what grid and what is snapping? So as you can see the base plate that I have is kind of a grid and it has uh, four by four squares um, that make up uh, larger squares. So essentially this is the grid and each one of these small squares is about the distance of one stud. And when we're snapping, we're measuring in studs. So you can see here, right, that um, the stud is about, you know, uh, this bacon stands upon two studs, roughly. So this gives you an idea of what a stud is. Um, and that's the unit of measurement for, for Roblox. So when you're creating things, for example, this cube is 10 by 10 by 10, so 10 uh, length, width, and height of studs. So as you, if you want to count down here, you'd see that it's 10. Um, and so that's the dimension of, or the dimensions of this cube. And that helps you to understand what you're working with or what you want to work with in, when you compare sizes and how you want things to be in your world. Um, in the real world, we mention meters or feet, uh, inches, things like that. But in Roblox, we measure studs. Okay, so the first aspect of snapping that I want to mention here in this little section snap to grid is rotations. If we hit command 4 or if we come here and select rotate manually uh, we, we activate this rotation gizmo and when we have snapping enabled like right here you see the check mark it's enabled when you go to rotate this uh, bacon for example you can see that it, the rotation happens in increments, and you can see that the increments are marked by these little, um, yeah, these little lines here. So I have this rotate snapping set to five degrees. So every five degrees it will snap. So each snap is five degrees. So for example, if I wanted to rotate this bacon 45 degrees, it is marked here by this larger line. It's it's very simple to understand. Um, uh, excuse me, this is actually 90 degrees. I apologize. Um, 45 is right around here. Uh, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 brings you back to essentially zero or 360. It's the same thing. So um, if you were to uncheck this box, then you have free range of motion where you can see that you can rotate this character very precisely. It does not snap whatsoever. And so oh, you also lose the lines, of course, because it's, it's actually pretty much infinite. You have more precise control of how you rotate uh, any model but it's it can be harder to tell uh, or, or do precise rotations right because you don't have the snapping enabled so if, for example you wanted to move in increments of 45 degrees um, you have you see how the lines are much wider and each time it snaps it snaps 45 degrees so let's go ahead and make this baking here face his friend and his friend face his friend the noob um, and you can see that's pretty much rotating with snapping. Again, if you disable the snapping, um, it's free range of motion. You, there's nothing happening here, no snapping. Okay, free motion. Um, if you enable it, you can change the parameter here. You can make it one degree for the snapping. It's kind of hard to tell because uh, let's let's do five again because um, you have 360 uh, snaps there. Uh, with this, it, it reduces quite a bit, and you can kind of uh, work a little bit more precisely. Again, you can set the uh, parameter, 
and here we have 90 degrees and it doesn't move anywhere in between those 90 degree increments right so you can see this bacon is very clearly snapping and that's what snapping is right and so let's move on to the next aspect here we have moving so i have the moving snapping set to one stud and remember down here on the grid we have the the uh, little squares here that each represent one stud so you can see as it's set to one stud when i move it the cube moves one stud at a time which is really good for precise work as you can see when i join these two cubes together um, they are exactly touching almost as if the, it is one part but obviously it is two um, again you can change the parameter here so if i made it 10 studs for example every time i go to move this it's going to snap 10 studs at a time which is way more than just one right so again if we uh, uncheck the box we'll notice that it, we have free range of motion and, and so you can see i'm moving in between the studs and it's very very precise i mean you can go way down close and and get super precise with it you know you have a uh, for example uh, we can create a tiny tiny opening here and that happens a lot when people are building um, they don't have it uh, set to the proper snap and even though they didn't want this crack for example it still comes because you know if, if you if you if they uh, set the stud uh, snap here um, then perhaps it would work a little bit better well that pretty much sums up this uh, guide here uh, I hope that you found it um, useful, and I uh, encourage you to subscribe, to comment, like, and to uh, share if you want to other people to see it. Um, again, I'm very curious about what you guys come up with or what ideas you have, or if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'm very much interested. So I want to wish you guys a, a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.